Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm the Bearded OG. And uh, we are going to pick up pretty close to where we left off in the last episode. I did uh, reharvest my crops, and thanks to this asshole, we just lost our birch tree and several of our uh, crops. Um, that sucks. <laughs> These fuckers. So anyway, um, I, I spent a little bit of time before I started rolling the camera getting some wood and um, mostly getting wood and refreshing the, the crops that, again, these assholes just broke. Um, and I had a, um, this is the second troll attack, attack that I've had too, uh, since I logged into the game. So, kind of sucks. I want to avoid killing them um, all the way because then it'll just spawn more in until the event is over. What are they hitting? Oh, I, I guess that guy went down, didn't he? Okay, now they're out of here. Fuck off, dude. Oh, they must have hit a Skeeter. I see a stinger sitting there. Uh, two stingers. Alright, well, that kind of sucks. We lost a few of our crops, but nothing too terrible, I suppose. Can't quite get over the thingy there. So, I'm going to... I heard a fueling up there. There's another mosquito, too. Let's get it. Let's make sure we have full health this time, though. Last time I went to attack a mosquito, it didn't end well for me because I had no health. Uh, but it's getting dark, so we're probably going to go ahead and uh, sleep. I, I believe I'm the only one on the server. Yeah. And then in the morning, we'll come back and gets uh, continue with the build here after I do some repairs. Uh, you know what? I also need some more tar too, so let's let's kill Do we get him? Oh, here he is. Get a little more tar from these guys. Um, I know I can Where the hell did he go? Oh, it's so hard to see him. I know I can drain these ponds, but I kind of don't want to because I want them to keep spawning these tar guys so they can come and beat the absolute shit out of me. Where did he go? Oh, did he die? He must have died. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Um, <clears throat> we might, what I might do though is I might, you know, the, these two that are really close to the house, I'll probably leave intact, but I think there's another two or three further out and maybe those we can... Uh, go along and, and drain them. Let's just go ahead and pot back up here. Now, I could also... We could, we could take this stone hinge place completely apart for the stone. I, I have quite a few, quite a bit of stone left over in my wagon, though. But, yeah, okay, we'll worry about that later. Uh, let's do go over here, though, to the other tar pool and see if we can kill another one of those guys just to get a little bit more tar, because we are going to run out of that fairly quick. And then I will have to go do the the drain, the drain thing. Come here, you green bastard. Jeez, I can't see anything. Yeah, it's over here. And I see the... the tar blob guy. No, oh, you're going the wrong way, asshole. I don't really want to aggro that entire village right now. Okay, now he's coming after us. Gives us a couple more pieces of tar. 
All right, I'm going to go sleep. Oh, man. They knocked down our birch tree. God damn it. <laughs> uh, and I'll see you guys here in the morning. All right, we're just getting the walls repaired back up here from the troll attack. Glad they didn't hit that wooden gate. And, yeah, we lost a big old chunk of flax there, which really sucks. But, again, what can you do about it, right? Um... I'm not going to replant this tree, at least not right now. We'll we'll probably replant some trees in some strategic locations after, uh, you know, kind of after we're finished with the main build. But I do need to get this wall back away uh, further than it is. Uh, okay, well, that's still not the highest priority. The highest priority is to get this room covered so we can actually use it uh you know put our set up our crafting stations so to that end let's keep working on um oh i gotta get the stone cutter ouch let's keep working on that for the moment get the stone cutter over here closer Gonna set it down there. And also, let's grab a whole bunch more stone. Okay. Don't think we need the wood at the moment, just the stone. There we go. More feathers. Oh, he just took off. Good for him. Okay, that's getting orange. That's orange, too. <clears throat> um, this game has a vertical structural integrity, too, so... Um, if we have to, in order to get the roof on, we might need to put some iron poles down to help, you know, kind of strengthen it. But let's go ahead and put more, as many more timbered beams as uh, beams in as we can. Uh, we'll put the stone there. And we'll do the cross pieces, too. So, let's see. I want to, to dark wood pull. I want that to go up there. And one on this side as well. And then we'll do the arch thingamadoodle. Oh, you know what? I don't think we need... I don't think we even need those because the arch will take care of that part too. Um, all right, put that up there. There we go. And I believe I did the same thing here too. So We take that down and this down. We can reclaim some more tar. And we'll just. Oh, shit. Sorry. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, can't take me anywhere. Okay. Let's put you there and you there. I heard something smashing outside. And then you up there. Now we just need the cross pieces. I think that's right. And then a short cross piece to go uh, uh, right there. And the window pieces. Is that going to hold? Hopefully. That looks pretty nice. Okay. So... 
start. Here, let me put this on. I can't see. I guess that's all the way on, on the ground. So with this... Um, we are going to have to just cover that one over. It's a damn shame that it clips through the stone, though. You know, that's something you think they would have QC'd when they came out with the update for these. You know? You know what I'm saying? Oh, shoot. Ratatar. Okay. Well, that's as far as we're going to be able to get with the dark wood until we get more tar. Uh, but that should be enough for us to at least get the roof on this place. The thing is, though, is, um, I mean, we're going to do the tarred ones, but I've got to, I'm obviously, I got to go get a bunch of tar. So for now, um, I'm just going to use these and we'll replace it with the tarred roof when uh, when the time comes. That should be where we want that to go. We'll do the same thing on this side. I'm just hoping, you know, that we don't have any SI problems with this. I guess we'll find out soon enough, huh? Alright, now let's just switch to these pieces. Well, okay, so the roof pieces seem to be stable. And they don't seem to be affecting the stone integrity any fur you know, any further. So hopefully it'll stay that way. Is that gonna hold? Come on. There. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. There. I wanted to snap it over there first. Take that one down. Put this one in its place. Yeah. Okay. Now, I might change that out. Uh, oh, this is going to hurt. <clears throat> well, we had full health. <laughs> um, I might change that out. When, uh, you know, when we switch to the tar. Wow, look how high the water comes up in our yard. That's why I did a double high foundation, because I don't want that happening in the house. Okay. So now we have an actual roof. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to start putting down our works station. So we need to get our blacksmith down first or whatever that thing's called. Forge? Yeah, forge. So I'm going to need coal, copper, and stone. I need to bring some coal over here anyway from the other base. Uh, so let's go grab that. I've got the copper in my ship. It's just been kind of sitting in there waiting for us. All right, we'll take both of these piles of coal with us. Okay, um, how much... How much do we need for this? Uh, six copper. Okay, let's go grab that first. Let's grab... Half. Oh, no, we're going to have to just grab six because I got all this coal in my inventory too. Oh, even that's too damn heavy. Shit. All right. I guess we'll put a thing of coal in there. I'm going to go ahead and set the forge here. I 
guess that's the front. Um, but we may need to move it just depending upon, you know, how we can set our, all of our upgrade stuff. So we have the workstation there. Or uh, just the normal crafting bench, I should say. Almost wonder if we should trade places with these two things. Let's put you right here. And we might even need to move this into the kitchen. I'm not uh, I'm not sure yet. And we'll put the Let's just put the crafting bench across the room from the found, uh, not the foundry, the forge. Can I build the outdoor oven without it being covered? Probably not, but let's try it. So we need 15 iron, 6 stone, and 4 cords. I mean, it'll let us put it down, but is it going to let us use it is the question. There. Don't have any cookable items. Okay. So, right, because we need to. We also need to make the cooking pot and make the cookable items in there. But what we could do is go back to the other base for that, at least for now. I mean, ultimately we'll make it here, but you know, just as a temporary thing. So I kind of like to have some lox pie. Put those two things in there. Um, but before we do that, we don't have to do that right away. I want to. I want to get all the the crafting upgrade thingies up in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and that's cooking. That's cooking. That's cooking. Uh, we need the chopping block, which is going to require ten flint, and the tanning rack, which is going to require fifteen flint plus leather scraps. Uh, we can make the ads right now. I'll, I'll, I'll get that stuff from the old base. Uh, so let's make the ads. So we need three bronze. And some fine wood, which I have lots of. All right, so we will put this in this corner here. That takes care of that upgrade. Uh, the tool shelf, we need obsidian for that, <coughs> which again, I have at the other base, so we'll skip that for the moment. Forge bellows, we need a chain. The anvil, we can make that right now. So we just need two more bronze and normal wood. Okay, so this needs to go over by you. I'm just going to put it as close as possible. Grinding wheel needs a sharpening stone and wood. Um, I believe we make that sharpening stone in here. Oh, for Pete's sake. Very good. That gives us the sharpening stone. And this is a forge improvement as well, so uh, yeah, let's stick that right in the corner for now. Again, we may need to move a few of these things around to get it all fit correctly, but we'll worry about that once we have everything to work with. Smith Sample is going to take 12 iron. Let's do that one next. Okay, can I put this over here in between these guys? I should be able to, but it's going to be an asshole and not let me do it. Uh, all right, let's just put it on this side then. Okay, next we have the forge cooler. That's going to take fine wood and tin copper. Forge cooler. Can we put that over here? Oh, come on, game. Why the hell not? You're killing me. All right, well, let's just set it there for the moment. Forge tool rack. That's going to require another 15 iron. All right, we'll just stick that up in the corner. And 
and everything has got its little sparklies going towards the forge. Um, it's now level six. Is that is that it for our forge upgrades? No, we didn't get this because we got to get the deer hide in the chain. We need the obsidian for the tool shelf and the flint and leather for these two items. This is all cooking stuff over here. Okay. So let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to the base, uh, the original base. Okay, I believe we have everything we need to finish our upgrades here. Um, so let's do our tanning rack. And maybe we can put that right here. Um, let's do our chopping block. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll put that right there. And then our forge bellows. Too bad the damn thing wouldn't fit right there. That would have been great. Um... What a pain in the ass. I really don't understand the hitboxes on these things. It looked like it was going to set down for a second. Why does it continue to be red? Oh. Right there. Why right there? <laughs> That's so bizarre. I want it right here, or over here. Uh, I can't even get it. Uh, there it goes. It's just barely registers. This is bullshit. <laughs> oh, oh, there. All right, like right in the middle of that tile. Come on, game. You fucking kidding me? It's like in the worst possible spot. It's, uh, okay. <laughs> this is, this is shit. Oh. Seriously. Let's go back. And see how I have it arranged at the other place. Because it works. It's pretty nice the way it is at the other place. Um, oh, shit. Now we're getting attacked by certlings. Like, the third attack in a row on the f same fucking episode. And I'll get us some more cores, though, so there's that. Okay, I think that's it. Um, we got seven cores out of the deal, so that doesn't suck. Okay, so the question is, is, is it possible for us to kind of recreate um, this arrangement? So the bellows is all the way in the corner. I might be able to get that to work if I just lay it like a wood floor over the top of the stone. Then we have the workbench, then we have the small anvil, then the large anvil. And then these guys are, you know, kind of off to the side. Okay, let's, yeah, let's try that. So bellows, forge, small anvil, large anvil. Tool rack right up above. Let's try that and see if that works at all. I guess I need to drop a couple things off here. So we want to put the forge here, and then we had this guy over here to the... Oh, okay, there it goes, there it goes. Uh, 
Oh, come on, just let me put the fucking thing down. Ah, so frustrating. I have no stamina to put it down is the problem. Get rid of that. Uh, what what does this thing need? It needs just the chain and the deer hide. Okay. So, throw out the iron, the obsidian. Um, okay, now I'm not encumbered. take the tool rack back down and okay we'll put that right up above here all right now we had the small anvil right here as close as we can get it the grinding yeah the big anvil was in the corner oh good it's gonna work okay and then I actually had an armor stand in between those two Okay, so far so good. Uh, now we need to get the grinding wheel and the forge cooler down. Okay, so now this one might be a pain in the ass. Oh, never mind. It's not going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to be just fine. I think that's everything. So that gets us up to seven for our upgrades. Let's just double check everything here. Okay, so. We have the chopping block. Check. We have the tanning rack. Check. And all of this stuff should... Yeah, that makes our workbench level four. Okay. We have the ads. Check. Um, we have... Oh, we need the tool shelf. Right, we gotta put the tool shelf up. That's that's for the workbench. Yeah, we'll just put this in this corner up here. Good. Okay, so now we got the tool shelf. Um, we've got the bellows. We've got the little anvil right here. We've got the grinding wheel right here. We've got the big anvil right here. We got the cooling thingy right here and the tool rack up there. So I think we have everything. All of our workstations are fully upgraded once again uh, to as far as we can take them at this point anyway. Excellent. There's a bunch of barley there, barley flour to be precise. Uh, I heard a bad guy outside. So this gets us back in business for our crafting stuff. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to get the kitchen going, which of course we have to do over here. And that means we're going to need another roof. So I guess what I could do is I could just build it without the dark wood trim, you know, just to get it in place. And then we can just, you know, change it out as we get more tar. All right, let's get the ceiling on this place. Gets our ceiling in place. All right, can I pull from the stone? No, I can't. Uh, well, the stone cutter's not is too far away anyway. Okay, we're gonna just set this right inside of there. Feather delivery. Very good. 
Let's get the roof on this other side so we can get our kitchen set up. All right, we want the uh, corner roof piece. Um, I think that's where we want that to snap. I believe that's correct as well. Out of wood. All right, so I have core wood and fine wood in here, but not normal wood. So I guess I'm gonna need to go do some more lumberjacking. That's all just stone in there. All right, guys, well, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here then, because of course I'm at a stopping point. Um, I will go back to the meadows and, you know, cut up another big old batch of wood and then when we start the next episode we'll finish this roof and we'll get our kitchen set up in here and then find a place to throw a bed down we don't even really need to do that we can just keep using the bed that we have at our other place until we're ready to um you know build out the bedroom and, and do the other things but i think what i'm going to do is we're, temporarily we're going to set up a fireplace in here in the kitchen with um you know with our kettle but my ultimate plan is to have a big central hearth you know right right around where this workbench is for our our fire but it's coming together you know it's uh it's like we talked about before it's just taking taking some time uh to do and uh we just got to keep working on it at least until, I mean, I will consider it functional, mostly functional, <laughs> once we get the kitchen uh, done. Because we have our crafting, you know, we have our crafting area finished now. Um, and once we get the kitchen done, you know, then we can make, make the food and stuff. We still obviously have a whole lot more work to do on it, but uh, at least that'll that'll get us kind of up and running and then we'll probably take a little bit of a break from all the building and go do some adventuring uh, you know just to kind of break things up because i know the last few episodes have been straight up building but it's like i said you know we we need to kind of get to a certain point before i feel like we can take a break from it um and yeah so that is the situation so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the very next episode. Say goodbye, OG. He said goodbye. See ya.